Yes. The main inspiration for the book was I really wanted to write something that lifted people's spirits who are in a state of abject depression, who also enjoy looking at other people in the same state of mind, particularly celebrities. And in terms of the, the like, you know, the zeitgeist of, of the time of the celebrity culture, combined with the fact that there seems to be an enormous amount of anxiety and depression and a general heaviness that goes around. So what I wanted to do was combine all of those factors for somebody to read the book and to lift their spirits and to have a laugh, but also be given quite an insight from, from my experience as to how those sorts of conditions are dealt with in a way that is, is both very real but very amusing and very tied in to the times that we live. It's, it wasn't until I got to the end of the book, writing it, that I realised that my father isn't in it. It was, it was quite a shock to me, because I, I thought, the first thing I'm going to do is put my father in there. There's lots of other characters that I've, I've known throughout time who are in there, or, or whose names are used, or whose characteristics, uh, particularly the sort of type of character that, that you look at, and you just don't know whether this is a, a, a class A psychopath or a class A psychiatrist. You know, th they are very ambiguous in my mind. And so when I look back at the book, I thought, where's my dad? But he's, he's not in there as a character, but his whole pathos of how to deal with people who are in a distressed condition runs through the whole book. So it's bizarre because he's not there literally, but he's there in spirit on every page. What happened as I was writing it, uh, and, and people you know, read it as I was um, producing more involved graphs, was that um, it was clear that it needed some sense of menace involved. You know, it, almost like a sort of 1950s Ewing Broadway comedy, that, that you needed some bad guys sort of after the good guys. And so then I introduced, uh, which I couldn't resist, the idea that a Sunday newspaper was uh, hacking into their systems uh, with a view to exposing, not, not, not the people there, because I'm too much of a lawyer to know that you wouldn't get away with that these days, but to expose to not the celebrities, but the people who are running the place. And once I got that element into the mix, then the journey became a lot clearer in my mind as to how it was going to end and how it was going to pan out, and how each of the people that come in, uh, in terms of the, the journey side of it, Every person that comes in, whether it's for a day or, or a week, uh, had to have their own journey that, that brought them in there, that had a, a, a quite a serious confrontation of one kind or another, that brought out something about them that they, they, they had to look at and realise where they were going wrong or what caused this impasse or this implosion, and then for them to sort of come out of it. And so it's... it's um, it's not just as simple as the journey of the book, because there, there are lots of journeys within the book, and it's, 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 the, it's the parts that, that make up the, the whole. Uh, there is interest in my father's work still, um, and people, you know, Luke Farrow's work on my father, All the Valley Cells, been nominated for the Turner Prize, is still very relevant, uh, because what my father and Luke Fowler and many other people are still addressing and still really trying to get to grips with is what is this behaviour that we call madness all about? How does it come about? Is it, are, are, are people born mad? Are, do they achieve madness? Do they have madness thrust upon them? Do, do, is, is the answer biochemical? Is, is it genetic? Uh, if, if that is right and there's a scientific basis for it, then why haven't we cured it? But the, 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 the problem that there is is, is that uh, those that, that see it from outside the medical or scientific model understand fundamentally that it's to do with the human condition. And if, if somebody is depressed or anxious or afraid, more likely than not, when you understand their, their social situation, they've got a lot to be depressed about. So it's not about giving them a pill to make them feel happy. It's about understanding them holistically. And then disengaging them from that in some manner, and, and, and not just addressing the depression internally, but dealing with the external factors that has caused the depression. And that approach, that holistic approach, whatever you call it, um, is still alive and well all around the world and has 
been alive and well for thousands of years, long before drugs and surgery came on the market. The idea of going away for a bit and sorting your head out or uh, having some kind of rest from, from the pressures that, that uh, cause people to collapse, that's a lot older than science. The key message of Rehab Blues is that therapy is about life and it's about how treatment is about how people treat other people. And happiness isn't something that you can get out of a pill, uh, out of a bottle. Uh, happiness is something that you've really got to fight for in the sense that you have to understand yourself in order to understand your path to get there. But it's it, the, the message is to me is, is that the uh, whether it's, the, whether it's the cause of human ailment, it's certainly very much part of the solution that uh, therapy is to deal, is, is concerned with how you conduct yourself in life in relation to other people and how other people treat you. And that is the essential message of it. Uh, and laughter is very much part of the book. I, I, the, the, there's laughter therapy, paparazzi therapy, all sorts of therapies, some, some of which I was inspired by therapies in you know, West Coast America going back to the 1930s, others have just come to me, but the essential message is that if you want to come out of whatever it is that is bringing you down, that's, that's, that's something you've got to find within yourself, and it's not something that anybody's going to give you to take that's going to give you a shortcut to make you suddenly feel better, it's about human relationships.